ultimate measure of man is not where he stands in the moments of comfort and convenience, but where he stands at the times of challenge and controversy. Don't judge me by my color. I don't judge you by your color. Hi, my name's Mackenzie, and I live here in Newport, New Jersey. Part of Jersey City or right on the waterfront, and sometimes I feel like we are in this little bubble. Um, everything is happening around us, but not within us. And I thought it was really important, especially with me having a five year old daughter who's asking about the rallies and asking about what I can't breathe means. What does Black Lives Matter? Hey, Jazara, what are you doing? I'm giving Black Lives Matter. All of those things that any child will ask because they see it on the news, they see it popping up on your telephone when you're going through Twitter or Instagram. And I thought it was really, really important to put something together for kids to be able to be involved in and to also support the movement. This is a very pivotal moment in our history, everyone's history. I cried a few days ago when I saw videos of rallies happening, not just here in America, but all over the world, supporting this movement of equality, the no justice, no peace. And it's so important that we teach our kids this very young. Now, we've kind of written on the ground all these amazing statements. Some kids have written, be brave. Some kids have written, be respectful. Some kids have written, Black Lives Matter. It's so important. And we did it right here in this space because it's open. This is where we all walk through to get to the supermarket where we all walk through to get to the park and we play here as you can imagine and with COVID-19 and everyone with their their mask on <laughs> it's something that we must do and we must educate our kids and so I thought this would be something to do that um, parents would love to take part in and help help them explain to their kids what's going on, you know? So right behind me is no justice, no peace. I had a security guard come up to me and a lot of people were watching, wondering what was going to happen. And the security guard came up to me and she said to me, thank you, thank you for doing this. I have a little son and I have to pray every day hoping that nothing will happen to him, hoping that he will be safe. I'm Nikenji. What are you doing? I am writing. It comes from my heart about what's happening right now, and I think it's important that we speak our minds, speak our hearts, and support the movement. Who's this little girl? Oh, cool. That's my daughter, oh. Jazara. <laughs> She's doing it too. She is. You want to help mommy? This is no justice, no peace, Jazara. You can get what up is to it, me. mom? No justice, no peace. Whoever did that, that's definitely good. <laughs> Thank you, Jazara. <laughs> she said that's definitely good. <laughs> be nice, be respectful. to make a change we need to make a new future for our children to be able to be safe 
and to be proud of a future that we all can be proud of. So with that said, we continue to do the work, we continue to fight, we continue to have our voices heard. Cesara, what are you doing? I'm drawing Black, black Lives Matter. What are you doing? Black Lives Matter! No matter what, we continue to be united as one fund. Hatred paralyzes life. Love releases it. Hatred confuses life. Love harmonizes it. Who are you? Hatred darkens life. Love illuminates it. Our scientific power has outrun our spiritual power. We have guided missiles, but misguided men. <laughs>